Oh, you are so professional. I am Warren Gregory. Now I'm the flower bike man here. If there's any success to the end of this, it gets passed to my children's children, maybe. That would be cool for them. For me, she's all that matters. So many people love it, constantly, all, all day, you know? That's something I never expected. It makes it, uh, I'm not crazy. <laughs> not just a crazy flower man. People mm. like what I'm doing. They tell me all the time, everywhere I go. The story of the flower bike man is always uh, the love of my wife. It starts with her first bike losing at Central Station and put flowers to find it. She was having more and more epilepsy problems and uh, losing her way to work. Just the first bike there on a street before that corner and uh, eliminated this. It was just for her to, uh, can this help? When I was 20 years old, I had my first surgery. They call it degenerative disc disease, but uh, I had serious injuries when I was a kid. Uh, I worked my ass off from 14 years old till 20. I had my first back operation. Until I was 24, I think, I could still work, I could still do things. I was uh, just having a lot of pain. Five surgeries later, uh, I had a spinal fusion. I wanted to go to school as, to be a teacher. And then the uh, first semester, I'm in school, I'm working full time, I'm getting a divorce from my first wife, I get busted with marijuana. And everything goes the other way. So I got a job as an ice cream man. It turned out that was one of the most honest jobs I ever had. Everyone loved you, so it's kind of, it's kind of like riding on a flower bike. It's the same feeling. Every little kid, every, hey, ice cream man, hey. Uh, I was driving the ice cream truck once and uh, I tried to avoid an accident and uh, I ended up falling down the step well of the ice cream truck. Then I was in a wheelchair for six months and uh, a walker and uh, I was miserable and put to her through hell. I don't know how long I can keep going without hurting my back permanently. And that would be a nightmare if it happens here and I'm not legal here. That would be uh, a nightmare I don't want to even think about. So I just swallow the pain and I keep going. I love it here. I, I can live anywhere. I, I love it here. I'm a boat person. You know, it's, it's cool. We're you know, sick of Florida. If you, yeah, go to Florida on vacation, live there, you're sick of it. Her medicine is 350 a month. Here, they're um, five euros a month. I know Warren by, uh, we met in a job we used to have together. Our love grew to a point we got married. And it started back when I lost my bike at Central Station. I went home and I was frustrated and he went back and found it. He said, you'll never lose it again if you put add this flower on to it and you put a sunflower right in the middle. And just that sunflower is how it all started. For me, epilepsy is a, uh, it's kind of really just a disappointing that I can't remember things in my life. I hope maybe that someday I don't have to deal with that and I'll have my memory back. I think the biggest thing that comes to my mind, the reason why we're here, is remembering back to the first time we moved here. And he has a lot of back pain and when we came here it was just a difference he felt in his back and uh, the pressure, I guess, of the being below sea level. And then we moved back to Florida, though, and he had to start using his cane again. Because we can ride together everywhere, but we can't walk anywhere together. We go to a market, we'll have to uh, push our bikes so he can kind of use it as a cane because he can't walk far. So we can't dance together, so we can ride our bikes together. It makes people smile to see the flower bikes, especially on a, like a gray day. 
they just say, oh, my feet. I've never heard so many people say that. Every time I ride a flower bike, over 75% of the people I go by are smiling, you know. Or it just brings smile and positivity, I think, to a lot of people in the world. <laughs> I put them on the corners everywhere working. I got my girls out working on every corner. <laughs> I sell smiles for free. Yeah. We can all compensate the negative energies every day if you just smile at someone. The mission of this moment, I have to get this business started. The immigration, if I want to stay and be legal, staying and, and, and get better help for her and get her ability to work and, and take care of herself, I have to uh, have an accountant, I have to have $5,000 in the bank, and uh, I have to get my business license at the Comrade and Copandle. And then I can present all that at the IND with a business plan and they should uh, give me a stamp. That's the goal. All I hope is I live as long as she does and that she doesn't have to take care of me. The day she dies, I want to, the next day, I'll go with her. <laughs> I said it, so it's there. If there's something outside of this realm, if there's some energy, if there's some, I will find you, baby. I will find you. There's no way I won't find you. No way. She'll be riding a flower bike somewhere. No, I should put it on the video.